So in the previous videos, I think one of the first videos, I did the flip the bits and add one trick. That's how we get the actual value of a two's complement value binary number. We can just flip all the bits, add one, and then whatever comes out is the positive version of the negative value. All right, so I want to show you why that works. If, if you're not interested, skip this video. You can do the trick all you want, but there's actually, it seems like magic if you don't understand it. Well, let's, let's understand it, and then it's no longer magic, and we're professionals. Okay, let's first look over here at the far right. I'm going to get my pencil here. This is the dial I've been using in all the previous videos, I, I, or, or just in the most recent video videos. I had the 0, 1, 2, 3, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1. Remember walking this, if I if I, I, I start at negative 4, I have a full number line as long as I wrap back up here and then stop at the 3. Alright, so our goal here is to kind of change this uns, these, these, uh, not those ones, these unsigned values, this unsigned integer sequence into something where I still have 0, 1, 2, 3, the right here, the, the non-negative values, but then I, all of a sudden I slide four, negative three, negative two, negative one right there. All right, that's our goal. Well, we're, we're going to walk kind of this way through the table, and I'm going to explain what, what's going on in order to get, basically, we want these negative numbers here on these rows of our dial. All right, so first of all, let's start with the binary bit values. Start zero, then one, then zero, one, zero, then zero, one, one. These are the same. In, in decimal, I, I still have the decimal equivalents, the unsigned decimal equivalents right here, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so, so nothing new here. These two columns you should be well familiar with from the previous videos. Now in this column, I did the first step of the twos complement. I flipped the bits. All right, so 0, 0, 0 turns into 1, 1, 1. 0, 0, 1 turns into 1, 1, 0. 0, 1, 0 turns into 1, 0, 1. So on and so forth all the way down. Well, if you notice... 0, 0, 0 ended up down here. And 1, 1, 1 ended up up there. And so that should make you wonder, huh, I wonder how this worked over here. Well, well, look at this. 0, 0, 1 crisscrossed like that. And this crisscrossed. It's almost like they, they, they reversed. All right, let me clear this. If I start down here, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. Well, that's the same sequence going up as this is going down. So flipping the bits simply reverses the values. Okay, key point number one. And that's that's one reason why we flip the bits. We flip the bits and add one for the two's complement thing. Well, we flip the bits. All right, I haven't gotten to the add one part, but look at this. Now I've written the, I have the 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I'm trying to get a negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1. Well, let's, let's forget about the negatives for a while. All right, and you see here I've torn off the negatives in this column. All right? I don't want to worry about the negatives. Well, I got a 4 on this row, and I need to move it down one row. And I got a 3 on this row, I need to move it down one row as well. And a 2, so on and so forth. The 1, see I just need to move them all down one by one. The 0 kind of kind of falls off the end. I'll talk about it in a minute. But I just need to push these down. Well, how can I push them down? I just need to push them down 1. Well, think about that. One. I need two. Oh, this sounds like Sesame Street, doesn't it? I need to add one. <laughs> okay, so adding one, zero plus one is one, and one plus one is two, and two plus one is three, if I can get it. Three plus one is four. And that puts these values in the right slots for me. Okay, key concept. We flip all the bits so we reverse the order. One, two, three, four. You know, one, two, three, four. But then we add one just to bump them down. And now I have these values aligned quite nicely in my range. The non-negative values, I remember, I just keep them as is. I just, I just interpret them as normal positive values. It's when I get in these negatives, negatives where I need to get these negative values down there. And I just did that by flipping all the bits, adding one, and pushing the sequence down one row. It's nice and aligned. Okay. So this has been a pretty long series of videos on two's complement, but remember, the whole reason why we go to all this headache is, is because we like to add. Adding is easy. All right? So if I can interpret my numbers here as, as uh, negative or positive, it doesn't really matter, as long as I can always add and just move forward, that's, that's pretty fast and saves a lot of headache and, and, and all that kind of stuff. So I just want one last example before we 
we uh, are two things. First of all, remember when I, I push this row down, and I push this row down, this row down, this row down. Well, the zero, when I push the zero down, he kind of fell off here. But if you think of zero as wrapping around the dial, zero ended up kind of back up here. Well, looking at the dial we had, we're, we're only really shifting this bottom portion of the dial, the negative portion of the dial. This bottom portion here, this negative portion. Well, when I push zero off the bottom, he comes to the top. It's like he joins this other zero there. So not only do I get my nice dial, but I have also merged these two zero values. I've kind of merged them together into one cell or one spot. I don't have two zeros anymore. And that's kind of nice because if I didn't do that, say, uh, say these, let me clear this off. Say I just interpreted these as negatives. Well, one problem we have is is we don't have negative four anymore, we have to stop here, right at the at the end of the dial, and then um, when I when I add, well, first of all, I have a negative zero, okay, and that's two values of zero. If I give you negative zero dollars, that's the same as giving you zero dollars. I don't take anything away. I don't give you anything. We're both off the same. So ne two zeros. Well, that's not ideal. And then also when we do the add, like say we said negative three plus uh, oh, let's do negative 1 plus 3. So negative 1 plus 3, i got to move forward 3. So 1, 2, 3. Well, negative 3, or negative 1 plus 3 is not 1. It's 2. But I had, I ate up, I had to take two steps on each on one of these zeros. So we want those, those double zeros to go away so we have this nice, clean dial, if you would, of consecutive numbers. Right, that's point number one. Point number two, uh, we like we like the binary values or the we like this two's complement because then we can just add and just keep walking down this sequence of numbers and negatives and positives combine quite nicely. Uh, but to get the actual value out, remember in the first video I said we flip all the bits and add one. Well, I can take any of these negative numbers. Any of these, well, I just missed that. But I can take any of those negative numbers, flip all the bits, and add one. Well, when I flip all the bits on this one, one zero zero, I I flip the bits, and it ends up going up here. But then I add one, pushes me here. All right. So so one zero zero ends up in our row quite nicely right here, and I can say, oh well, that's a that's our four. All right, that's the four value, and so I'll remember that's a negative four. One, uh, going a little further with that analogy, say you and I were standing on a number line. But taking the two's complement and then taking the two's complement again just puts you right back to where you started. I, I negative three, negative two, negative one. I'm just writing a number line here. One, two, three. Say you were standing, oh, let's say you were standing right here over negative one. Okay, and you're facing the positive direction, which is kind of which is kind of what we want to do here. We want to face the positive direction. And I say, okay, flip all your bits. Well, flipping the bits essentially changes the direction that you're facing. Okay, so now you're going this way. And I say, okay, well, add one. Well, when you add one, you're going to end up right here. Okay, let me erase this. You're no longer there. You're over the negative two. All right, but you're still facing this direction. Well, if I tell you to flip all the bits again, let's do the two's complement another time. Flip all the bits again. That's going to change your direction facing this way. And then I say add one or step forward one. Well, you're going to end up right back where you were before I told you to do the two's complement steps the first time. Okay, so it's kind of nice how this all works out. We get the nice dial, all that. It's, it's not magic. It's math. And as long as you can understand what's going on, which I hope you can now, then uh, I, I'd consider you a good professional programmer, at least on this topic.